Injury Prevention and Risk Management, Physical Education 10, Quarter 1. Injury Prevention and Risk Management Badminton Skills Service Lob Clear Drive Drop Smash Footwork Injury Prevention and Risk Management Badminton injuries are either acute traumatic injuries such as ankle sprains or are overuse injuries such as impingement syndromes. Both types of injury can be prevented by using the right equipment, warming up, cooling down, and ensuring you are strong and fit enough to compete. Table Tennis Skills Forehand and backhand grips, push, block, serve, receive. Injury prevention and risk management. The most common table tennis injury is very similar to standard tennis injuries. Sprained ankles, tennis elbow, and Achilles tendinitis are just three of the more frequent table tennis injuries. Table tennis is a non-conduct sport but injuries are often acquired when athletes suddenly change direction or twist their body quickly, leading to pulled muscles and other injury problems. Players who do not warm up properly or stretch their muscles before taking to the table tennis also put themselves at a high risk of injury. Tennis, skills, forehand and backhand strokes, serve, smash, drive. Injury prevention and risk management. Tennis injuries are generally defined as either cumulative or overuse or acute traumatic injuries. These injuries occur over time due to stress on the muscles joints, and soft tissues without proper time for healing. They begin as a small, nagging ache or pain and can grow into a debilitating injury if they aren't treated early. Many sports injuries result from overuse, lack of proper rest, lack of proper warm-up, or poor conditioning. Safety precautions are recommended to help prevent tennis injuries, like warming up thoroughly prior to play, wearing the right tennis shoes with skid-resistant soles, using good technique in the different tennis movements, cleaning of courts before play to check for slippery spots or debris, getting adequate rest and time for recovery after each play, and staying hydrated. Baseball, skills, pitching, hitting, base running, catching, and fielding. Injury prevention and risk management. If you use too much effort in pitching the ball or continuously pitch without rest, a serious elbow or shoulder injury may be on the horizon. If you complain of elbow or shoulder pain the day after pitching, or movement of the joint is painful or restricted compared to the opposite side, see a physician familiar with your sports injuries. Warm up properly by stretching, running, and easy gradual pitching. Emphasize control, accuracy, and good mechanics. Do not play all year round. Your body needs to recover from the physical demands of playing. Football or soccer. Skills. Pass. Receive. Attack. 
shoot, heading, goalkeeping, defending, tackling. Injury prevention and risk management. Injuries occur during football or soccer games and practice due to the combination of high speed and full contact. While obvious injuries can occur, traumatic injuries such as concussions are most common. The force applied to either bringing an opponent to the ground or resisting being brought to the ground makes football or soccer players prone to injury anywhere on their bodies regardless of protective equipment. Basketball Skills Dribbling Passing Shooting Defending Injury Prevention and Risk Management Ankle Sprains Jammed Fingers Knee Injuries Deep Thigh Bruising and foot fractures are common basketball injuries. To avoid these injuries, maintain proper fitness and hydrate adequately. Remember, injury rates are highly in athletes who have not adequately prepared physically. Volleyball Skills Passing Receiving Serving Attacking Digging Blocking Injury Prevention and Risk Management Since volleyball involves repetitive overhead motions such as spiking and blocking, players are prone to overuse injuries of the shoulder. In addition, volleyball players are particularly susceptible to finger injuries, ankle sprains, anterior crochet ligament or ACL injuries, and patellar tendinitis. Usually, injuries can be treated non-operatively with bracing and physical therapy or home rehabilitation exercises. However, treatment can vary significantly depending on the injury. Recovery time usually depends on the injury. <laughs>